Today I'm sharing two artist books that feature old family photos. They're vastly different from each other, but both exemplify how structure and materials can contribute to the meaning of an artist book. They are Relative Memory by Roberta Lavador and She Feels Your Absence Deeply by Golnar Adili. Roberta Lavador is an artist and educator and proprietor for over 20 years of Mission Creek Press in Pendleton, Oregon. Relative Memory was the first in a series of artist books and sculptures, also called Relative Memory, that Lavador is still developing. If you take the title, Relative Memory, literally, it is about the memory, or lack thereof, of her mother, who died when Lavador was five months old. After her mother's death, Lavador's older sisters were instructed never to mention their mother again. When she was a little older, Lavador's father gave her a small box of photos of her mother. The photographs inspired Lavador to create multiple artist books, each exploring the different aspects of the loss of her mother and the inconsistencies surrounding her death. The title, Relative Memory, took on new meaning when Lavador shared with me news items and various conflicting stories other people shared about her mother's life. I saw relative memory before I heard these stories, and I didn't need to hear them to understand the subject was fragile, personal, and intimate. It was evident in its small size, glass pages, and what is obviously an old photograph at its core. Lavador was inspired by a stack of glass slides she found at a thrift store. While handling them one day, she noticed that if she set the stack down on some printed matter, she could clearly see through the edges of the glass to the text or image underneath. Lavador saw the potential in that moment and used a copy of her mother's photograph to line the spine for a book and used the glass slides as pages. The distance between the foredge where we can view the image and the spine where the image exists reminds me of the way we try to reach into the past, wanting to connect a memory to something physical. The book is both a container of something precious and an illusion of tangibility. When I open the pages, thinking I might get a closer look at the woman at the center of the book, the image disappears. This too is Lavador's experience as she sought to know more about her mother's death and life. Golnara Adili is a multidisciplinary artist and educator based in Brooklyn, New York. Born in the U.S., Adili mostly grew up in Tehran after the 1979 revolution. Her parents' activism later forced her father to leave Iran for the U.S., leaving Adili and her mother behind until they could rejoin him in the States many years later. She Feels Your Absence Deeply was made with photos and letters from the artist's father's archive. The title comes from a letter her mother wrote her father describing Adili. She Feels Your Absence Deeply is a puzzle. Made of wooden blocks, the reader can mix and match the images, revealing both the entirety of the source documents as well as the collages that occur in the process. They are inspired by children's building blocks and causing me to think of how, as an adult, I've had to puzzle out some of my own childhood events. While the blocks can be playful, the looseness of the structure combined with the photos, a letter, and identification documents conveys fragility, separation, and uprootedness. Handling the book, I worry I'll miss one of the turns of the blocks as I explore it and thereby miss something important Adili wants the viewer to see. I also worry about losing one of the blocks 
a chunk of something that would make the image forever incomplete. Ideally must have this worry too, because the image that wraps around these blocks is an airplane in flight, perhaps carrying them all to safety, or at least providing escape for now. There's nothing lighthearted in the content that suggests vacation to me. Instead, the airplane wrapping reinforces a life in suspension and the preciousness of the cargo. As I hold this small piece in my hand, I think of it too as a talisman, something to anchor fear and focus hope when pieces of a life might have come apart. Both Relative Memory by Roberta Labrador and She Feels Your Absence Deeply by Golnar Adili bring up feelings of nostalgia, loss, and grief, as well as questions around belonging and identity. They are well thought out and constructed. I needed no explanation. Both titles are, for me, a perfect marriage of materials, structure, and content. <laughs>